Hi, this is Chris. Welcome back to another Create Quest post. And I'm going to share a story from Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This is actually habit number seven called Sharpen Your Soul. And what I'm going to read here is from the habit seven chapter in Stephen Covey's book. Here it is. Suppose you were to come upon someone in the woods working feverishly to saw down a tree. What are you doing, you ask? Can't you see, comes the impatient reply, I'm sawing down this tree. You look exhausted, you exclaim. How long have you been at it? Over five hours, he returns, and I'm beat. This is hard work. Well, why don't you take a break for a few minutes and sharpen that saw, you inquire. I'm sure it would go a lot faster. I don't have time to sharpen my saw, the man says empathetically. I'm too busy sawing. <laughs> now, this is pretty funny. I think we all can relate to it in some way. Too busy working to actually sharpen our blade, right? So it bears the question, are you working with a dull blade? Are you tired, cranky, don't have any focus, burned out, right? Maybe it's time to take a break, okay? Sharpen that saw. Get your energy right by dialing in your sleep, maybe with a nap. Get a bit of exercise every day and maybe, you know, eat right so you can show up to what you love most at your best. We must really sharpen our physiology and mental capacity to tackle the infinitely complex world of art our creating in general. If we don't have our minds and bodies running at our best, how can we possibly expect to perform at our best, right? Creating is not just about picking up some pencil or paintbrush and expressing ourselves for eight hours a day, every single day consistently. That leads to burnout. Part of creating is also eating right, moving regularly, sleeping well, and honoring our psychology through meditation. That is also part of your creative practice, any creative practice. These are the true fundamentals of being a master artist, okay? Master your fundamentals first, sharpen your soul, and then watch your creativity soar.